three passions, simple but overwhelmingly strong, have governed my life. The longing for love, the search for knowledge, the unbearable pity for the suffering of mankind. These passions, like great winds, have blown me hither and thither, in the wayward course over a deep ocean of anguish, reaching to the very verge of despair. I have sought love first because it brings ecstasy, ecstasy so great that I would often have sacrificed all the rest of life for a few hours of this joy. I have sought it next because it relieves loneliness, that terrible loneliness in which one shivering consciousness looks over the rim of the world into a cold, unfathomable, lifeless abyss. I have sought it finally, because in the union of love I have seen a mystic miniature, the prefiguring vision of the heaven that saints and poets have imagined. This is what I have sought, and though it might seem too good for human life, this is what at last I have found. With equal passion I have sought knowledge. I have wished to understand the hearts of men. I have wished to know why the stars shine. And I have tried to apprehend the Pythagorean power by which numbers hold sway above the flux. A little of this, but not much, I have achieved. Love and knowledge, so far as they were possible, led me upward, towards the heavens, but always pity brought me back to the earth. Echoes of cities of pain reverberate in my heart, children in famine, victims tortured by oppressors, helpless old people, a hated burden to their sons, and the whole world of loneliness, poverty and pain make a mockery of what human life should be. I long to alleviate the evil, but I cannot, and I too suffer. This has been my life. I have found it worth living, and would gladly live it again, if the chance were offered me. Love, Knowledge and Pity by Bertrand Russell